미국 캘리포니아주 샌프란시스코. 세 번의 결혼식으로 유명해진 레즈비언 부부의 집입니다. That's our first one. <laughs> that's when we, and then it was in our <laughs> sweats and no rings. And I mean, we just. After that, we went up to British Columbia. And then we got. That's right. That's right, Canada. So then. Because we really wanted to get married and get dressed up and do it at home. <laughs> do it right. <laughs> we renewed our vows in 2008 when it became legal again. Yes. Yeah. So now you celebrating both days? Oh, we, we celebrate everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was the best dressed lesbian. 부부는 정신과 의학 박사로 함께 성 소수자 인권 활동을 해왔습니다. Um, this this um, award is was incredibly meaningful to both of us because first of all. It, it's the only award we've won together in our lives. Diane 박사는 다큐멘터리 감독으로 오스카상 후보에도 올랐고 네네 박사는 연구를 통해 동성애에 대한 편견과 싸웠습니다. 1967 and at that time homosexuality was considered a mental illness, a crime and a sin. That is not so long ago. 동성 부부의 자녀가 성년이 되기까지 발달 사항을 추적해서 기록한 논문은 30년이 걸린 장기 연구였습니다. 미국 내 동성 결혼 합법화는 부부뿐 아니라 아이들에게도 큰 영향을 미치고 있습니다. It would not have surprised us if these adolescents had some difficulties. 41% of them had been stigmatized because of their mother's lesbianism. So we would have anticipated that you know, they may have had some, some signs of distress related to that. We um, began to have same-sex marriage in the United States. And that kind of legitimacy for their parents uh, had quite a positive impact on these children as well. Harvard 의대생과 정치계 거물 딸의 만남. 상류층이라고 성소수자를 향한 차별을 빗겨갈 수는 없었습니다. 세 차례의 결혼식 끝에야 미국 내에서 법적 부부로 인정받았습니다. Lesbian or gay couples in the past who lost everything paying estate taxes after their spouse died or had a, a biological relative come in and claim the estate when the two people had been living in the home for 50 years. I mean, terribly tragic stories. We didn't really need the piece of paper. We have been, you know, we had been together a long time, but we really thought it was important to have the license to, and to have access to the rights that um, married people have. 성소수자라고 인권까지 양보할 수는 없었습니다. 그것은 자신을 지키고 배우자를 지키는 유일한 길이었습니다. One of the strongest characteristics of our relationship is our ability to be there with each other and for each other um, with every expectation that we will prevail against this kind of the kind of intolerance and discrimination that we've experienced. She's received a lot of threats from the work that she does, and um, she's had the courage to, to continue it for so many years. And um, she has a fabulous sense of humor, and she's beautiful. <laughs> and I, I just love her very much. Nenet 박사 부부의 결혼 서약은 세 번의 결혼식을 거치며 40년간 지켜지고 있습니다.